Hello all, welcome to Studio Band Pilates. Uh, today it is July 14th, it's Thursday. It's a mat roller balance class. Sorry, I'm laughing. I'm just gonna change my um, lighting here just a little bit. A uh, little bit of a Zoom issue for whatever reason. Um, I know I'm a little hot, but I'll get out of that in a second. Maybe I'll push this back a little bit. Um, my headset isn't connecting for whatever reason. So I'm sans headset. And of course it is a little warm in here. Talk to Fan Ole at the other end. Hopefully you can still hear me. Fingers crossed, this is how we're going right now. Okay, so take care of yourself. If you have any injuries or limitations, provide some options and variations to hopefully work for you. If they don't, place them to the side or in your own favorite options and variations. If that doesn't work, do a stretch, do a different movement, take a break. Maybe that different movement is outside the family exercises that I'm offering up. It's fine. You do what you need to do. Whatever you need to do to take care of yourself is basically, um, the motto of Studio Van Pilates. All right, so um, let's get started. We're gonna get stand, uh, started standing for a minute. Um, have a little close, but I'm not gonna use it right away. And then I'm gonna adjust my um, camera angle in a minute um, because of the headset issue. I didn't get everything set up, so I'm just gonna quickly put on my Box and then um, tilt this down a little bit. Yeah, all right. It's been a day. <laughs> we all have them, right? And for whatever reason, technical issues today is uh, mind strong. So let's start from the functional parallel position with the feet and legs. Yeah, so nothing too wide, nothing too narrow. Drop your arms down for our sides, ears, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, and the village of alignment. So you're standing up nice and tall. Inhale the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, you slide them back. Inhale, the shoulders up, and that's the slightly down. Inhaling up, that's the slightly down. One more time, please. Inhaling up, and that's the slightly down. Shoulders go back, up, rolling forward, or shoulder rolls. Back, up, round forward. Back, up, round forward. Back, up, round forward. Keep the arms off, swing the arms back, up, and forward. These circles can be any amount for you. However large you like to make them, they may not be as large as I am making them, maybe they are a little bit bigger, but a relatively large circle for you. Let's drop the arms down to your side. Show some forward, drum up and around to the back. Forward, up and around to the back. Forward, up and around to the back. And then just one more time, forward, back. Keep the arms on, swing on, forward, up, back and around. Forward, up, back and around. Forward, back, up, and around. One more time. Forward, back, up, and around. Just drop the arms down their side. Keep this narrow position of the feet and legs. I'm just going to do a knee bend and straight. So I'm just trying to drop my pelvis down towards the ground, right? Just like an elevator going up and down. I'm not trying to touch either a little bit more back. So, and that's going to affect the range of motion that you have in this knee bend. It's not going to be very big, especially if you keep your heels down into that. And you got this one more time. Then I'm going to have us do some side bending and twisting, which will come into play later on um, at the end of the class. So you can either cross one hand, uh, arms over the other, opposite hands with the shoulders, opposite shoulders, or you can place your hands against the skull. I'm going to keep my hands against the skull. If you choose to do this, I encourage you not to clean your head. They're just there to add a little bit of extra challenge, right? And here, if the top is relatively stable, you're going to twist to the right and the center. Twist to left, and so now side bend to the right, and up, side bend left, and so now twist to the left, center, twist to the right, center, side bend left, and up, side bend right, and up, pause. Now I'm going to move my mat just a little bit, um, so you have a range of motion that I don't slide on the mat. Keep this narrow position of the feet. I'm going to bring this right leg forward. You bend the right knee middle at a certain angle. But keep the left leg long. So I'm not bending the leg. I'm just going to do a little bit of a modified lunge. Stepping forward to my left, modified lunge, and forward. And then I'm going to step out to the right. And this right leg could be in parallel. Maybe it turns out a little bit, but it's fine. Come back to center and then stepping out to the left and back. Let's do that. Again, this time let's go to the left and back to the right and back to the left side 
and that right side. And back. So leg that steps up is the one that's going to bend, the leg that stands stays long. Now I'm going to add a little bit of a twist in a side bend. I'm going to add on to one of them. I'm going to do a little forward fold and just right at the ribs. So this can be hands to off the shoulders or hands against the skull. This is where I want you to be careful. You don't want to your head. All right. So we're going to start with that right leg going forward. And as you go right leg going forward, you're going to bend that right knee, but you know, twist to the right. Left leg goes forward, twist to the left. Back up. Side step to the right. Side bend to the right. And up. Step to the left. Side bend to the left. Then we come forward again. Right leg comes forward, but as you bend the knee, you're going to fold forward. Push yourself off. Left leg comes forward. Fold forward and push off. Let's repeat that, but we're going to go to the left. So we're going to step forward, twist to the left. And Stepping forward to the right, twist to the right, and back. Step out to the left, side bend, and up. Step out to the right, side bend, and up. Step forward to the left, forward fold, just from the ribs, and back. Right leg forward fold, and back. I'm going to shake it out. All right. So we'll be doing something similar to that. That's a little bit added. We've been doing these rotations and side bends for the last couple of weeks. It's a little bit different. At the end of class. So from here, um, I'm going to place a roller to the center. Yeah. And, you know, as a little tip, you might need to turn the volume up if you're getting the recording. <laughs> right. You're like playing, I can barely hear you. I'm going to still try to talk loud. Um, might be a little bit challenging when I get to my belly. Yeah. When I'm like that on my belly. So I'll do my best to try to keep everything as loud as I can, which reminds me, you don't need to be loud. Let's come down. Onto the roller. Head and tail fully support here. Yeah. Back arm sits apart, heels in line, but this comes to be pointing straight ahead. Arms down to your side. So look at that functional parallel position. And then you're going to find a way to center back the pelvis or sort of back the tailbone. So uh, you're trying to keep that neutral pelvis. And then uh, back on your ribs also connect to the roller. So that really establishes a neutral pelvis, a neutral spine. We're rather so we be perfect for that. Right. You're going to find a way to big toe, big toe, heel connection to each foot. Put into the hands. And that might be picky, thumb side, single thumb side. One side might feel different than the other. It's fine. You're just taking note. You're not really trying to change that there. And then from here, what I do is you find is way to the center back of the skull. So the chin is pointing out the chest too much more up to the ceiling. Just trying to find that relative natural curve of the back of the neck. We're just trying to recreate that natural curve of the back of the body for our skeleton, whatever skeleton we have, each skeleton is different. And here, can you just relax your throat, forehead, jaw, and shoulders for a moment? Yeah. Then from here, to the beat the and exhale, I want you to put both arms up towards the sky, rotate the palms to face inward. On the exhale, right arm opens up to the side. Inhale that arm right back up. Try to stay in the center of the roller. Exhale, left arm opens up to the side. This could be a little weight distribution change here. It's fine. Inhale that arm right back up. Exhale, right arm opens up. Inhale back up. And then exhale, left arm opens up. Just try to remain as stable as you can. Inhale that arm right back up. Rotate your palms to face forward. Exhale, right arm reaches back behind you. Keep the ribs dropping down. Inhale the arm right back up. Exhale, left arm reaches back. Inhale, right back up. Exhale, right arm reaches back. Inhale up, and then exhale, left arm reaches back. Inhale up, pause. Now on the exhale, both arms reach back. Full combination here. Inhale, the arms right back up. Palms face inward, both arms open to the side. Inhale up, palms face forward, reaching both arms back. Inhale up, palms face each other, both arms open up to the side. Inhale up, palms face forward, reaching both arms back. Inhale up, palms face each other, both arms open up to the side. Inhale up, palms face forward, reaching both arms back. Inhale up, palms face each other, both arms open up to the side. Yeah. Inhale right back up, palms face forward, and then both arms come forward and down to the mat. You can either keep your arms down to the mat here, or if you like, connect your elbows and pull the forms off the mat. You just have to have enough arm length for this to happen. That's how tall the lower is for your arms, right? 
if you feel like your arms don't or elbows don't connect to the mat, just place your forearms set the big deal. It's a little extra bonus for those of us who do that. From here, so you keep telling your exit and build it right into a stable top position. Inhale, hold it, and exhale, step back right down. Inhale, and your exhale, left leg pulls up. Inhale, pull, exhale, best step back down. Inhale, and your exhale, right leg pulls up, stand strong. Inhale, pull, exhale, best step back down. Inhale, and your exhale, left leg pulls up. Inhale, pull, exhale, best step back down. Deep inhale, and your exhale, go to the right leg to tabletop, and leave the leg there. Inhale, and your exhale, left leg pulls up to meet the right leg. So both legs together, jump up on the feet. Small range of motion here. On the exhale, and toes and balance forward, puts a wall in front of you, not down or up, bring the legs back in. Axis and toes and balance forward, inhale back. Axis and toes and balance forward, inhale. Axis and toes and balance forward, inhale back in. Pause here. Exhale right toe reaches down, puts an outlet out at the end of the morning, inhale back right half down. Exhale left toe taps down, inhale back up. Exhale right toe taps, inhale up. Exhale left toe taps, inhale. Pause. You can keep the form to do that works for you. Otherwise, flex your feet. Right heel steps down now instead. Inhale back up. Exhale left heel steps down. Inhale up. Exhale right heel. And up. Exhale left heel. And up. Pause. Extend both legs up with, some, with feet flat. Bring the legs back to tabletop. Extend both legs up. Back to tabletop. And extend both legs up. Back to tabletop. And extend both legs up. Can you keep them there? Keep pressing those heels up towards the ceiling. Bring the legs back to tabletop, right foot back down first, bottom of the left, and then both arms can come forward down with the mat if you need to shake it down, go through it back out. And then from here, go ahead and interlace your fingers, place the palms within the skull, point the elbow slightly forward. Take a deep inhale and exhale now, the head around the spine up, abdominal curl. Inhale to hold it, exhale from your right back down. Inhale and exhale again, now the head around the spine up, abdominal curl. Inhale to hold, exhale from your right back down. Inhale and exhale again, now the head on the spine, up down the curl. Inhale, pull, exhale, come your right back down. Inhale and exhale again, now the head on the spine, up down the curl. Inhale, pull, exhale, come your right back down. Now take a deep inhale in here, exhale, now the head on the spine, up down the curl. Keep this up down the curl. Exhale, turn the torso towards the right. You have to be very big, it's fine. Inhale, back center, try to keep the legs stable. Exhale, turn the torso towards the left. Inhale, set. Exhale, turn the torso towards the right. Inhale center, exhale, turn the torso towards the left. Inhale center, exhale, turn the torso towards the right. Inhale center, exhale, turn the torso towards the left. Inhale center, pause here, round up one more inch, and then come all the way back down. Inhale here, exhale again, now the head on the spine, don't curl. Now pause, release the right arm, press to the left side, body eight, pulse is up, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hand against the spell, left hand releases over to the right, you got eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hand begins to spell. Come up a little bit more. Release both hands over those knees. And eight pulses through. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands begins to spell. Go ahead and notice the full way back down. Okay. So from here, a little bit different. So I want you to. Float the right arm up towards the and left leg to tabletop. But this will work for some. You need to connect the left elbow, just hold it up. If that's impossible, just leave that one down, right? And then I'll, I'll walk this one forward too. So we're going to send this right arm back, left leg just forward and away, and the right back in. Access an arm and leg away, and how back in. Back this one more time. Access an arm and leg away, and how back in. Now, if your arm is down, can you lift it up? And down. If you're at your elbow, can you just lift the arm up and down? And then when you're ready, either one that you choose to do one down or not, can you lift the arm all the way up to the ceiling? Can you send your right arm back, left leg just forward away, and the right back in? Access and arm and leg away. And then back in. You've got this one more time, access and arm and leg away. And then back in. This transition's going to be a little bit different. So can you leave this left arm up? Bring that right elbow down, right, and then place the left leg down. Right leg puts up the center. So left arm up, right leg towards this tabletop position. Now, send arm back, leg just one away. We've only got three of these. Inhale right back in. Access an arm and leg away. 
can't hunt. Axis and alarm, I'm going to go away. Can't hunt. So you can't really see this really well, but I have my elbow connected of my right arm. But maybe your right forearm is down into that. That's fine. We do the same thing. Can you lift it up and just press it down? Lift it up and place it down. And then can you lift the arm all the way up? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Remember, you can always press it down if you need to. Now send the left arm back, right leg just holding away. And right back in. Back two more. Exhale back. Leg just forward. And come back in. Left arm reaches back, right leg just forward. Bring right back in. Pause. And then keep both arms up and place that right foot back down. And then both arms can come forward and come back. A little extra challenge and a little bit different than how we get into our balances here. So this kind of mixes it up a little bit. Now, to keep the pelvic here, exhale. I want you to sink the belly to the feet bump into the lower back any amount towards the roller. Some of us will connect to the roller really easily. Some of us will get close, and some of us might feel super far away. We're just trying to find a curl. Inhale here, exhale, please sit back down to neutral. Inhale and exhale, then sink the belly to the feet bump into the lower back. Inhale here, exhale, please sit back down to neutral. Inhale here, exhale, then sink the belly to the feet bump into the lower back. Inhale here, exhale, please sit back down to neutral. Now take a deep inhale in your exhale, again, sit the belly, sit the bone. Engage your glutes, so you feel the tail on the way from the floor, put yourself up to a bridge that works for you. Inhale in your exhale, bring your right back down, finding that neutral position again. Inhale in your exhale, again, scoop curl, pull yourself up, find that bridge. Inhale in your exhale, bring your right back down, find neutral. Inhale in your exhale, again, scoop the belly, curl the tail, pull yourself up, find the bridge. Inhale in your exhale, bring your right back down. Inhale and exhale again, scoop curl, put yourself up, find the bridge. Yeah. Inhale and your exhale, bring right back down. Find neutral. Pause and then you just rock back and forth. Head goes one way, head still the other way. So as you're rocking back and forth, you can keep it at this size. Maybe you'll open up your arms and legs a little bit so you can catch yourself from going from side to side. Get a little bit more surface area at the back of the body. You get the first, uh, the biggest surface area at the back of the body. You just lift one arm up and one leg up. That's the way that you're rolling away from and you look towards that side and you'll get the full surface area that you can on your back. So that would be shoulder blade and glutes. Yeah. You find where you can go. Yeah. And then we're going to come right back to center. We're going to go ahead and roll out to one side. We can arms and legs to help you down. And for a moment, can you do whatever you need to do to release? We can stretch your legs, maybe up the knees your chest. Find what you need to do. Okay. Pause and then you find this roller. This roller to be back or this to be outside of the roller. Back is in front. Float the arms up towards the sling, right knee to the chest, follow the left knee. Keep the head down here, and step right step up, up down curl. Keep the right knee in, so left leg up, long inhale here, this one says, inhale, this one says, exhale, and exhale, come, and then in, in, X, X, and in, X, X, and in, X, X, both knees in. Roll yourself down, look right, look left. Hands to the outside of the roller again, put the arms up to the ceiling, right knee in, left knee in, and print your spine. Exhale, run it up to your dome curl. Fix some legs up to the ceiling. Turn the legs up. The legs are externally rotated. Go drop the legs a little or a lot, bring right back up. So it may not be very good. Exhale, drop the legs. In her right back up, sweep the belly in. Exhale, drop the legs. Bring it right back up. Exhale, drop the legs. Inhale, back up two more times. Exhale, drop. Inhale, up. Exhale, drop. Inhale, up. Pause here. Roll two more inches. Bring yourself down. Look right, look left. I want to pick myself because I'm really starting to sweat <laughs> because of the no fan action. All right, hands to the outside of that roller. Put the arms up towards the ceiling. Back in front, right knee to the chest, follow the left knee. Keep it going here. Exhale, run yourself up. Abdominal curl. Right knee stays there, left leg switches up long. Left armpit draws for the right knee. And inhale here, you switch sides, armpit towards the knee. Inhale, and switch your sides. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. In, in, X, X, and in, X, X. Switch sides long. Hold here for the inhale. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, switch. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, switch. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, switch. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, roll yourself in, tuck those knees in, look right, look left. So we're going to move on to four bridges. 
You choose your user where you're going to place the ruler underneath the triangle of your knees. You might be playing today roller and bridges don't work for me today. Just stitch the roller, don't worry. Just keep the feet flat on the mat and do the same thing from there. You choose to use the roller, it's a good time to place the arches of your feet onto the roller. Everyone has the option of keeping the arms down, gives you that biggest base of support. Otherwise, you can flip the arms up towards the ceiling, taking that base of support away. Could add a little extra challenge. I'm going to take a deep inhale here. Exhale, I'm going to scoop the belly, curl the top, and press your hips up in your pathway that works for you. Inhale the top, exhale coming back down. So either you're going to roll up and roll down, or flat back up, or flat back down, or a combination of all of that. Yeah. Deep inhale here, exhale, scoop, curl, float yourself up. Yeah, and I encourage you to find that center line of the body, so not drifting from side to side. Exhale coming back down. Inhale here, exhale again, scoop, curl, float yourself up. Inhale here, exhale coming right back down. Inhale and exhale again, scoop, curl, float yourself up. Inhale here, exhale, bring it back down. It's one we hold. Inhale here, exhale again, scoop, curl, float yourself up, find your bridge. Pow. You're going to come down one or two inches from your glutes, you're going to pulse that three. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Pause there. Right leg close to tabletop. Place your foot back down. Left leg tabletop. Place your foot back down. Right leg tabletop. Foot down. Left leg tabletop. Foot gently down. One more time. You side. Right leg up and then down. Left leg up and down. Pause here. Foot lift up a little bit higher. Come all the way down. All right. From here, let's go ahead and lengthen up both legs for a moment. All right. And then we bring the legs right back in. From here, we do that same bridge again, but then pull it. So take deep in one here. Exhale, scoop your body, curl the tail, and flip yourself up, find your bridge. Right leg plus your tabletop, extend the right leg up. Right leg drops down the high side, and left leg, you flex your foot down, one foot up. Flex the foot down, one foot up. Flex the foot down, one foot up. One more time, flex the foot down, one foot up. Keep the leg there. Eight pulses from this left glute. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one pause, bring the leg back to tabletop, foot goes back down, flip the hips up higher, left leg to tabletop, and send the left leg up. Drop the left leg down the high side, and right leg to flex your foot, one foot up. Flex the foot down, one foot up. Flex the foot down, one foot up, one more time. Flex the foot down, one foot up, pause, keep that leg there. Right knee pulses up for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, bring the leg back to tabletop, foot goes back down, flip the hips up higher. Come all the way down and then lengthen up those legs. Interlock from your rotation might feel good here. Maybe, maybe you're rocking only the calves out. Maybe going to the backs of the thighs. Maybe you're doing all of the above. Maybe it's just a full collapse as well. Yeah. All right. Then from here, we'll take the roller out from underneath those legs. We got one transition. So you can bring your legs to the tabletop, and the roller goes between the feet. And the knees. So you're gonna turn the roller between feet and knees. And then you're gonna press that roller forward so you won't knock your chest into the floor. Hands go behind the thighs. We got one. Only. Take a deep inhale here, exhale. Nod the head. Set the thigh on the waist, roll your step up, find balance point, reach your support. Yeah, take the roller close to the squeeze those inner thighs together. One leg down, other leg down, lengthen that one leg, lengthen out the other leg. Flex the feet, reach your arms up, flat back forward. Then round over where you can, pulling the sole of feet, your toe lock, ankles, shins, maybe thighs. Then you can go to the floor. Nine more holes. And then move yourself up. All right. So I'm going to have a stay upright. And I broke this down a little bit more, I think, on Monday or Wednesday. We're just going to go right into it. I'm going to have to keep your legs long and you're going to bring your inner thighs together the best you can to press your feet. You're just going to watch out for the feet and the pelvis don't paddle back and forth. Excuse me. Then you're going to take this roller and push that crook of your arms, and it's like a bicep curl. So your elbows are up a little bit, so you can just tap it there. If the roller doesn't work for you, just go hands to opposite shoulders. Let's leave that there. You can also go hands behind the skull, but I want you to go hands to the shoulders if you choose not to use the roller. So I'm trying to limit where the torso rotates and not get the shoulders involved or the neck too involved. So nothing wrong with that. It's just it's a different way of focusing. So you're going to take that roller into the front of the arms. 
bicep curl up if you like. Sit those in our best together. Now, if your legs feel a little bit of slack to them, bend your knees, maybe you'll sit up onto a, a prop like a roll up mat, and maybe you'll catch the mat. It's totally fine. So, you're going to hold that roller at your chest, keep those legs stable. The inhale length of spine, exhale twist once to the right, it doesn't have to be very big. Come back to center. Exhale twist to the left. And center. Twist to the right. Center. Twist to the left. And center. We continue. Now we're going to do two pulses on the exhale to the right. Pulse. Center. Left. Center. Right. Inhale center. Left. Center. Right. One more time on your side. Do the left. Pause. And go ahead and release. Let's place the roller onto your shins. You're not going to relax a little bit and just roll the roller forward. Just get that forward pull for a moment. Using the roller here to help you out. You can come up and down the front. Move up and down. I'm reminding myself in my mind. All right, now I've got to really talk loud. So I'm going to be on my belt. So we're going to use the roller. I'm going to only use, I'm um, going to do a little extension with the roller. I'm going to do that four times only. Then I'm going to have you change your hands. So your hands will either go step one hand and the other, knuckles will be at your forehead. Or you go finger to finger, which means fingers to the forehead, or hands, fingers to the temple. Basically, what we're going to do in this, whatever shape it is, both arms come up with the head. So the hands remain connected wherever they're attached to. Just adds a little bit of an extra challenge for the extension. Uh, and then we'll add a little bit of choreographic interest to it. Um, all right, with the, you know, plenty of behind, of course, because uh, we're doing glutes, hamstrings, and upper back and lower back. So similar forms of the roller, palms face each other. Forehead down to the mat, as long as that feels okay for you and your neck. It might not, so you might put your head in line with the spine. When your arms are on the roller, your arms are a little bit higher, so that might create some tension in the neck, so you do what you need to do. Legs, parallel, turned out, together or separated, or some variation of that. Mine will be turned out and slightly separate. You'll take a deep inhale here. Exhale, the fuller roller towards you to put the head up, spine up, so just working your upper back, so you keep that front and bottom ribs connected in that. Inhale here, exhale, come all the way back in. Inhale and exhale, pull the roller towards you, put the head up, spine up. Inhale here, exhale, come right back in. That's two more times. Exhale, pull the roller towards you, put the head up, spine up. And then all the way back in. One more time. Pull the roller towards you, put the head up, spine up. Right? And then come all the way back down. Now, I want you to send the roller away because that's it for the roller. You can choose your hand position. One hand on top of the other, forehead and butt hands like a pillow, fingers to fingers, fingers touch the forehead, or Fingers to the temple, your choice. I'm going to go one hand over the other, forehead and across hands of the pillow. From here, I'm going to keep my hands wherever connected, connected. Take a deep inhale here, exhale. Both the head and upper spine up, arms should pull up as well, and then come back down. We got this three more times. Exhale, pull yourself up. Inhale down. Exhale, pull yourself up. Inhale down. Exhale, pull yourself up. Inhale down. Now stay down. Now, can you lift both legs off the mat and both legs down? Both legs up. That's two. Both legs down. We've got two more. Both legs up. Both legs down. Both legs up. Does not have to be super high or anything? Back down. Pop. So I'm going to add both of those, but very specifically. Deep inhale here. I start with the head and up spine up. As the head and up spine come down, legs float up. As your legs come down, head and up spine float up. Head comes down, legs up. Legs down, head up. Head down, legs up. Legs down, head up. Head down, legs up. Legs down, head up. Keep the head there. Put the legs up. Hold here. Breathe. Everything comes back down. Keep your hands were layered. Take the bottom hand, bring it to the top. If your hands weren't layered, go ahead and layer them now. We're going to move on just two legs. So we're going to put the lower legs up and that and just tap with this here. In and out. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Release the legs. Put the legs right back up again. You've got swimming legs. And swim. 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 Relax the legs. Bring the legs right back up. we got a combination. We're going to tap, 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 in and out. And then swim. And swim. And swim. And swim. And swim. Back to tap. And tap 
and tap, and swim, and swim, and swim, and swim, and swim, and tap, and tap, and tap, and tap, and swim, and swim, and swim, and swim, and swim. Relax the legs from here. Place yourself into a child's pose. Maybe it's cat pose. Maybe you find a seat pose that works better. Find a release position that works. So you can come here, actually, and relax to the base is fine. One foot at a time, the head's going to be last to rise. Show the foot down the back. All right. I'm going to work yourself up to standing. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> Heart. Heart's looking up the pants of the tape. Like huge sweat spots here. All right. So we're going to find this functional uh, upright position. And I want you to come to a wide, wide stance, not the widest stance, but something wider you can find a squat to your full range of motion that works for you. Um, I'm going to encourage you to place one hand to the opposite, um, or each hand to the opposite shoulders, or hands behind the skull when we do our five squats, because we're going to come back to that and we'll see if that'll be helpful. So we're going to um, find the position of trust. Let me do hand to shoulder for those of us who haven't seen that they can do this yet. There still will be a slight little hip hinge and the knees will back over the second and third toes. Go take a deep and hunt in your exit and squat down. And up. We got four more. Squat. And up. Three. Up. Two. Up. One. All the way up. Shake it out. So we're going to go to that same stance. Now, I'm going to take some of the stuff that we did in the beginning of class and add it in here. What I'm not going to do is do a four fold. That might come back next week. We're just going to do a twist and a side bend. And I'll probably go around the world. Uh, and I'm not going to step forward. I'm going to keep the squats, but I'm going to add a little bit of combination and a little bit of a balance challenge. And if you've been with me for the last couple of weeks, you know, this is challenging for me. So if you're finding it challenging, it's challenging for me. For whatever reason, I've done this before and I've hit it, but for whatever reason, these last two weeks have been super challenging. All right. Hands to opposite shoulders, your hands to the skull. We're going to go ahead and squat. As you come up, right leg comes up, we're going to twist to that side, step down. Squat, left leg up, twist, and down. Squat, and the side bend to the right, leg comes up, and down. Squat, side bend to the left, and down. Squat, twist to the left, left leg comes up. Squat, twist to the right, and down. Squat, side bend to the left, and down. Squat, side bend to the right, and down. Pause. I mean, shaking the hand, do it now. This is where I'm going to add some interesting combinations. You're going to squat, you're going to twist to the right, keep that leg up, come back to center, side to the right, and place the foot back down. Squat, left leg comes up, twist to the left, keep that leg up, side to the left, and place the foot back down. We squat, we go to the left again, left leg up, hold it, and then side bend, and place the foot back down. Squat, right leg comes up, twist to the right, whoop, and then side to the right. Pow, come back down. That's it. Shake it out. I was all over the map for the week. I was like, oh my God, uh, it happens. We're going to go into a quick plank. Um, pow. So I'm going to encourage us to go to a full straight arm plank, which may not work for everyone. So if that's the case, you can perform plank. So you know that maybe some of the movements may not be as full. It's going to require a little bit of shoulder, more shoulder strength. It just takes the wrist out of it. You have sensitive wrists. Um, but it will be a quick, right? So you'll just find the range of motion that works for you. All right, so I'm going to come to this functional parallel position in between your legs. And then you're going to reach the arms up. You'll dive forward, reach the hands down to the ground. Maybe you keep your legs straight. Maybe they need to bend a little. Maybe you need to bend a lot, but everything you need to do, get those hands down to walk yourself up to full plank. Yeah. From here, swing back a little bit. I'm going to pike the hips up. Like a down dog. That's a down dog coming forward. I might need to talk more. I might say something. <laughs> you know, pike up. And come forward. Now as you pike up, right leg puts up. Bring him up. And back down. Left leg pikes up. And back down. Right leg pikes up. Back down, hang in there, left leg pipes up, back down. Now, right leg pipes up. You keep that right leg there, pull the right knee to the chest, come to your plank. Some leg back up, to pipe. Right knee towards right elbow, set it back up. Right knee towards left elbow. 
back up, place the foot back down, plank, plank. Pike up, left leg lifts up. Left knee to the chest, send it back up to pike. Left knee towards left elbow, and send it back. Left knee towards right elbow. Set it back, find plank again, leg comes down, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Gently place those knees back down. From here, you're going to press yourself into a child's pose. You keep the count here, exhale, walk the hands up to the right, switching up the left to the waist, left side of the ribs, raising that side. Walk the hands right the center. Remember, if you're in child's pose, it doesn't work. Half those seat pose can also be your friend. Walk the hands right to the left. Stretching on the right side of the waist, right side of the ribs. Breathe through there. Walk the hands back to the center line. Then you go wide and stretch with your hands here, wherever you're at. And then press your hands to the floor. And if you're in child's pose, we can reach down towards the heels, possibly. In cat pose, lower and upper back will reach up towards the ceiling. If you're in seated pose, you'll probably walk behind your sit bones. If you're in a chair, you just place your hand in your thighs and press yourself back. Wherever you're at, keep a hand on your exhale, walk your hands back towards yourself. Roll yourself up to an upright posture of the torso. Now, some of us can sit on your heels. Some of us might need to stand on your knees. So we find some of us in between might need to come all the way from standing or stay seated. That's totally fine. Wherever you're at, find that upright posture. Inhale the sides and the backs of the ribs. Exhale, draw the navel in. Lengthen the spine to the front of the head through center. Inhaling in the sides and the back. Exhale, lightly engage those abdominals. If you lengthen the spine to the front of the head through center. Next inhale, shrug the shoulders up to the ears. In a natural, gentle way, as you exhale, allow the shoulders to drift away. Engage the abdominals lightly. Elongate the spine. Shoot the crown of the head through the ceiling. If you're ready, you might already be there. You're going to come onto your knees, right? And then curl those toes under. We can bring whatever leg like, forward that you like. I'm going to bring my right foot forward. So I can't remember what I did on Wednesday, even though it's just yesterday. Um, you can leave your hands down by your side, your arms down by your side. Hands to the thighs. You could do with foot support. Hands to a wall, a roller, a chair, whatever you need. Wherever you're at, you're going to slightly forward. Press away from that front foot. Come all the way up to stand and bring the other foot next to it, nice and tall. Yeah, inhale and exhale, lengthen the spine. Take any tension out of the elbows. Maybe forehead, jaw, and shoulders. Maybe glutes, shake them out. Turn out to lock into your knees. So just trying to find a natural upright position. We're standing nice and tall in line. Maybe you're on camera. You are done. Hopefully, this is loud enough for you. Zoom, as much as I love it, can be super challenging as well. So thanks for coming. See you soon. I'm going to stop recording.